sounds of a war zone. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Down at the end of 19th year, I just heard at least 20 gunshots or more. Gunshots, a lot of them lately in Columbus neighborhoods, even a city park. We about 20. Our shot yeah, spotter went about off. 20. Yeah, about 20. Shotspotter captures life changing moments. I know of one life that was saved. The technology came to Lisa Boggs's hilltop neighborhood first in February 2019 under the city's pilot program. Strategically placed acoustic sensors pick up gunfire. Shotspotter triangulates the location and sends alerts to police in their patrol cars on their smartphones and to dispatch. How much of a difference did it make? At first, it made a great difference, uh, really fast. Fast forward to this spring and summer. It just seemed like uh, we're getting a, a bit more gunfire now. Boggs pushed for shot spotter after New Year's Eve gunfire in 2016. Fed up, she started looking for ways to stop it. She read about the technology. I uh, thought it'd be uh, something good for the city. But at the time, it was too expensive. It isn't cheap, roughly $70,000 per square mile. The Hilltop, Linden, and Southside all have it. The city is negotiating an expansion to include the near east side. But we wanted to wait about a year to make sure we had enough data and evidence to suggest that it had been successful and it was time for expansion. ShotSpotter is in 100 cities nationwide. Columbus is one of five in Ohio. Canton switched companies after six years. The city's police chief says while ShotSpotter did what it was supposed to, it didn't fit their needs for the money. The Canton chief says they also weren't getting the arrest they thought they should have and still have a good response with people calling in gunshots. What we're finding is about 60% of the shots fired calls are never called into us. Columbus Police Deputy Chief Richard Bash supervises the shot spotter program for the division. So in your opinion, is it money well spent? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Bash credits shot spotter for leading officers to victims, evidence and shooters. We're able to connect this gun with a multitude of crimes in different locations, all because shot spotter and our lab. He points to the numbers between February 2019 and May of this year, more than 4,000 alerts, 133 arrests and 132 guns off the streets. So I know firsthand of at least three people who were shot without phone calls from anybody else. Officers were able to get there in time to render aid. Shot spotter was in Columbus long before the city signed its original deal. The FBI brought in the technology back in 2003 to hunt for the I-270 sniper. So Columbus got a taste for it back then, but was it too expensive in prior administrations to bring that forward? Or? Um, it is a very expensive uh, product and what we're trying to do and what uh, uh, the mayor is putting great investment into decreasing the gun violence that has greatly increased here in Columbus and around the nation. Kim Jacobs was the chief of police when the city first planned to implement shot spotter. She assigned Bash to be the liaison. Jacobs says her big concerns are the cost, the return on the investment and lack of competitive bidding. So it would be basically 12 miles uh, of shot spotter. The original 2018 contract approved by City Council, which waived competitive bidding, had a $685,000 price tag. Earlier this year, the city modified its annual renewal to a six-month extension for just over $265,000, citing economic circumstances from COVID-19. The expansion would need council approval. So competitive bidding would be waived again for the expansion? Yes, on this. Yes, you know, again, a number of reasons. First, it's simply the time. Uh, we'll be able to proceed very expeditious in implementing. Number two, efficiency. Our folks are already trained in how to use this technology. Third would be integration. Uh, our CAD system is already integrated with CAD, uh, with this technology. Uh, and last, just simply the quality of the product. The city applied for a Department of Justice community-based reduction grant for up to a million dollars to help, in part, pay for the shot spotter expansion. Eventually, I would love to see our neighborhood safety cameras integrated with shot spotter. So as soon as that alert goes out, the cameras point to that location. So now we have eyes and ears at the same location. 
but of course that all costs money and it, it's not an inexpensive proposition. I call every time I hear it. But Boggs also places her trust in the technology. I wish we had it in every neighborhood. Tara Morgan, six on your side. Hi, Bob Kendrick along with Station uh, Ken. Thanks for checking out the WSYX ABC6 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more Central Ohio news, click on the right to subscribe to our channel and download the WSYX ABC6 app for breaking news alerts. And we'll see you on ABC6 News at 5, 6, and 11. Thanks for watching.